What is up guys, this is Karan here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. This is Hentai OS you can see from the wallpaper which is based on Android version 11 and I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro which is Cortana. I'm gonna share with you which other things you get here if you want full Google Pixel 4a features, Google Pixel 4a feel on your Xiaomi device like Redmi Note 9 Pro. You're at right place, you should definitely go and try it out this room on your device. The room is perfect till now, I'm using it from some time the performance battery backup almost everything is perfectly fine here and including that you have all the pixel apps available pre-installed like the Google Docs and some little bit of more other kind of things almost every app is pre-installed home Google one a lot more things I'm gonna share with you which other things you get here and how other things going on and everything else in this video so stay tuned for that and make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything the link for this build is in the description you can go and install it directly with Without having any issues and if you want to install it on your device and how you can install this you can watch my video on lineage os 18 that how you can install that and same thing to install this let's get started Okay, guys, let me tell you some little bit of more things about this build. First of all, if you go to the about phone, you will see my device is showing as Pixel 4a, which is kind of really interesting. So that's why all the apps from Google Pixel 4a are definitely supported here. If I go to this app, which is device info HW, and if I go to the manufacturer Google model Pixel 4a brand Google and Android version 11 device Sunfish and product Sunfish. Sunfish is the code name from Google Pixel 4a. This is Google pixel 4a right now it's showing me and the thing is perfectly fine here i'm using it from some time you should definitely try it out the room is quite smooth by the way the scrolling speed the touch response everything is really really smooth and you will feel like you're using a real pixel device which is pixel 4a and yes it's better than the pixel for uh, pixel experience custom rooms which are available now for a lot of devices by swiping right you will see these kind of google pixel feed this was expected also and the best part is it's actually just from the google pixel 4a device so yes the pixel launcher is pre-installed where you can hold you will see the home settings widgets and the styles and wallpapers so if you go to the home setting this is pixel launcher but has a lot of features if you go to the about you can see version 11 which is pixel launcher which has a lot of features by the way little bit of more features we have the swipe to access the google app at a glance notification dots and a lot more things nowadays almost every android 11 room is coming with with g apps or without g apps but still if you have with g apps you will not feel like this kind of room which this room is also this is a pixel experience not pixel experience this is a pixel 4a room we have the pixel launcher including that the screenshot and the select option available here which is perfectly fine here so that's also one of the greatest things out there you can simply search copy or whatever things you want to do it all depends upon you this is one of the greatest things out there and i'm personally loving this room from some time if we go here and home settings widgets and styles and wallpapers if you go to the styles and wallpapers app you will see a lot of live wallpapers are available so if you want to try out some live wallpapers it all depends upon you can try out live wallpapers also also including that we have some other wallpapers like these living universe for fun which was not present in some other builds so if we try out any other build from there any other wallpaper from here we have a lot of new and cool looking wallpapers present here if you're a lover of these kind of wallpapers you will definitely install this build like i'm also loving it and these are some cool kind of wallpapers out there if you choose these kind of wallpapers these looks amazing so click on download and you will see the download progress looks very very interesting depends upon your download speed how much downloading speed speed you get here as you can see it started downloading it's done and now you will see set wallpaper home screen and lock screen and this is how this wallpaper looks like looks very very interesting right now in my case and like this you can change a lot of wallpapers looks really really fine Okay, let's talk about some quick setting styles which you get here like these kind of things the same kind of look which you get in almost stock android 11 we have the two by three combination here and you can see airtel wi-fi calling i'm using airtel carrier here and the wi-fi calling supports it it's working perfectly fine so that's interesting thing you can add a lot of things if you want to we have the wi-fi bluetooth everything is perfectly fine here right now i'm using bluetooth and in my case bluetooth is perfectly fine here i'm using the wi-fi wi-fi has no issues at all the torch 
auto rotate battery saver do not disturb almost everything is perfectly fine here i'm using airtel 4g so no issues here also if i go here and if i want to add some little bit of things here we have the location hotspot and no issues here while using hotspot also let me tell you by enabling hotspot right now from here i've just turned on hotspot from here and you can see i'm using the wi-fi also so wi-fi and hotspot at a single time both are perfectly fine here so that's also one of the cool things which i got about this room so the these were some cool kind of reasons though why I have installed this room on my device. Let's move on to some other cool kind of things. Some best things which we included right now is the all apps which are pre-installed. We have a lot of apps like these apps, Google Calendar, Google Calculator, the Context, this Docs app, Drive, Google Duo, Google Files. These are the apps which are pre-installed, Google One Home, and these are some cool kind of things. Because these apps are pre-installed, you get a lot of updates regarding these apps. So if you have a Wi-Fi, you need these kind of things to update just update them and you will be up to date with these kind of things if these apps are pre-installed that's kind of a really interesting thing in my case because you will get full pixel feel you can update these apps you can use these apps if you want to but yes you can remove them if you want to it all depends upon you like in my case i want to use my device and also the scrolling speed the touch response is quite smooth in my case moving on to some little bit of things first of all if you are noticing the settings icon is red here if you talk about these quick settings these are also red right here so it has almost red kind of icons everywhere not a blue pixel kind of thing but hentai os always has these kind of options if you go to the settings and check out some customizations unfortunately we don't have any customizations at all as i already told you this is entire from google pixel 4a so google pixel 4a has all the stock stock feeling everything stock features this is also have all the stock features available but no extra customizations which you get in a lot of custom rooms if you are a pixel lover if you want to use a pixel room on your mid-range xiaomi device this is the best ever thing which you can do Network and internet has the Wi-Fi, mobile data, hotspot, etc. And these are the things I have already shown you. So these are the things perfectly fine here. I didn't got any issues at all. If you go to the uh, apps and notifications, we have the conversation options where you can check out the priority conversations in notification history option is available too. bubbles are perfectly fine here so there are no issues here at all also screen time which you can adjust and also i've just forgotten about thing if we go here we can launch this google assistant right now from here right now from there or right now from there also so it all depends upon us we can use a google assistant right now from here that's also one of the cool kind of things about this build has all the main things as you can see i have just tried to enable the cod i've tried to play the cod cod is also perfectly fine here so you can play games also not sure about the gaming performance so just don't worry about that and let me show you the geekbench score here i actually don't believe in geekbench scores by the way and you can see here my device is showing as google pixel 4a with os android 11 qualcomm if i go here and go to the history you can see my single core score is showing as 558 and multi core score is showing as 1553 this is the score which i got here and i think it's perfectly fine here without having any issues but also as i already told you i don't believe in these kind of geekman scores more right now and also if you're noticing here if i open details these are not available here i don't know why whenever i try to open it it's not working at all the score is properly calculated as you can see but the thing is it's not working at all if i go to the compute and if i open this it's not working at all i don't know why but it's not working in my case so this might be the little bit of things like bug or i'm not sure about these kind of things Talking about the battery backup, in my case, battery backup is perfectly fine. I didn't got any extra drainage or anything extra drainage, which you should notice that. But I didn't notice anything regarding that. It's perfectly fine here. Approximately, I got approximately five to six percent screen, five to six percent in one hour screen on time, five to six percent of battery drainage in one hour of screen on time. So in my case, it's perfectly fine. And this is also one of the interesting thing. We have only two kind of things, last full charge and screen usage since full charge. We don't get any option of other things which you get in some custom rooms like the battery capacity, the estimated battery level and these kind of extra options, which I don't think so all of the users think about and they notice these kind of things. Like I also don't notice these kind of things here. 
If you go to the display, we have the styles and wallpapers available, which is very interesting thing. By default, it's at maroon color. You can choose these kind of colors options also. It all depends upon you. So for example, if you're gonna choose this, we can simply apply this and it's done. And now as you can see, the style is applied. Okay, now like this. You can also use these styles and wallpapers. You can change the icon styles and a lot more things. As you can see, fonts are changed here too. So these are the things which you get here. You can use any style from here no issues in applying styles and wallpapers which are perfectly fine here as you can see now fonts and the icon shapes everything is changed here you can see here these kind of things are changed that looks really really interesting everything is perfectly fine here you can use these kind of things if you want to you can also create your custom styles options if you want to and these are the things i have already shown you colors uh, they have no options available colors natural but no options to customize other things are kind of same thing sound storage privacy location have the same kind of things if you go to the security tab we have the fingerprint and the screen lock but no face lock option available here and i personally don't choose a face lock at all but system languages everything is same and same kind of things as expected also you have the app pinning feature back here which was not available in latest android 11 base rooms because of the maybe the pixel launcher but it's also one of the great things so there are some cool kind of things which you get in this latest hentai os the link for this build is in the description you're gonna go install this if you want to this was all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video now thanks for watching goodbye